I can't sense whether they're good or evil. Hello agents, I'm Susanna Moyer and this is The Ingress Report. I'd like to thank Hank Johnson and Clue who filled in for me these last few weeks. As for me, my investigations have been fruitful and I've uncovered some important information. More on that later. Abaddon has begun, starting with the flash shard anomalies that took place in Boston and Houston on October 10th. These were fiercely contested. In Boston, the factions fought to control the shards of Yuri Alaric Nagasa, an astrophysicist and close friend of Hank Johnson. And in Houston, they fought to control Misty Hanna, a powerful sensitive who has used a stage magician persona to hide her extrasensory ability. In Boston, the Enlightened took a commanding lead early and maintained control for nearly two and a half hours. The resistance, initially stunned, came back strong. Over the course of the following one and a half hours, they captured 11 shards compared to just six to the Enlightened, reducing the lead from seven to two. However, in the end, it was not enough. When the shards stopped moving, the Enlightened controlled 18 to the resistance 15. Dr. Nagasa is now under the influence of the Enlightened faction. In Houston, the day began with the Resistance capturing two shards in the first few moments of the anomaly. They maintained that lead for nearly three hours before the Enlightened were able to seize control with just an hour remaining. In the final hour, the Resistance regained parity and then, in a final push, claimed the deciding shard at the very last moment, leaving them with 13 shards to the Enlightened's 12. Misty Hanna is now controlled by the Resistance. The next two flash shard anomalies will take place this weekend in London and Zurich. In London, agents will fight for control of Shaper Glyph expert Carrie Campbell. After helping to discover the Shaper language, she left the Niantic project and was thought to have died, averting a large-scale Shaper mind hack during Operation Cassandra. In Zurich, agents will attempt to control Enoch Dalby, an XM-sensitive musician who has been romantically linked to Carrie Campbell. Dolby's subconscious perception of exotic matter may have been the key to Carrie's discoveries. After the flash shards, the next round of Abaddon anomalies will take place on November 14th in New Taipei City, Taiwan, Hamburg, Germany, and New Orleans, USA. The New Taipei City anomaly will determine the fate of infamous XM technologist Dr. Oliver Linton Wolf. Satellites will be in Bangkok, Manila, and Sydney. The Hamburg anomaly will determine control of Dr. Victor Curies, the researcher murdered in the Niantic lab in the weeks after Epiphany Night. Satellites will be in Edinburgh, Seville and Zagreb. The New Orleans anomaly will determine control of Dr. Martin Schubert, an XM expert I have frequently consulted in the past. Satellites will be in Charlotte, Guatemala City and Pittsburgh. The Abaddon finale will occur on December 12th, centered in Okinawa, Japan, Oakland, USA and Milan, Italy. Okinawa and the satellites of Seoul, Singapore and Wellington will determine the fate of Ada. Milan and the satellites of Gdansk, Porto and Sofia will determine control of Roland Jarvis. And Oakland with satellites in Fort Worth, Lima and Phoenix will determine the fate of the mastermind behind the Niantic project, Ezekiel Calvin. The faction that controls the most researchers controls Abaddon. What that means for the Niantic project overall and the long-term fate of these researchers, we are still in the process of unraveling. To take part in these anomalies, register on the official site at ingress.com slash events. On October 17th, agents united to explore their cities as part of mission days that took place in 16 locations around the world, including Singapore, Seoul, Kathmandu, Istanbul, Oaxaca and Albany. In addition, a mission day took place in Komitsu, Japan on October 3rd and another mission day will be taking place on October 31st in Yokosuka, Japan. On November 7th, Ingress First Saturday will happen around the world. That day will mark the one-year anniversary of Ingress First Saturdays. Be sure to find one near you at ingress.com slash events. Information about amazing agent-organized missions have been pouring in. In Southeast Florida, resistance agents launched Operation Bahama Mama, throwing 24 layers over two hours. In total, they controlled nearly 80 million MU and seven agents gained Black Illuminator medals. Agents involved included Azure Sea Knight, K Gregory 84, and Texas Viking. In Japan, enlightened agents launched Operation Green Forest, or Ado Hadari. Using anchors in Owate, Hokkaido, and Aomari, the agents attempted to turn Aomari, or the Blue Forest, a shade more agreeable to them. Casting dozens of layers, the agents controlled 30 million mind units. 
Over 30 agents were involved, including Deb Step, Mochiko 47, and Shinden 501. In Saudi Arabia, Lebanon, and Egypt, resistance agents launched Operation Blue Cedar, a difficult international op. The agents spent weeks in planning before throwing 70 layered fields controlling 2.7 billion mind units. Agents involved included Iyad 107, JAXA, and Blueberry S92. In Salzburg, enlightened agents turned the entire city green for Operation Griwoska. A hundred agents moved systematically through the city over the course of seven hours, building 1155 E8 portals before returning to celebrate. Agents involved included Warfinator, Omnomnivore, Swiss Phoenix, and Archery Ghost. In Tokyo, resistance agents launched Operation Ignis, the Blue Rocket. The operation involved the creation of field art in the form of a rocket, which they then ignited with a link burst, capturing its explosive launch. Nearly 80 agents took part in this effort, including agents Nonobrand, Tama 2014, Totoz, and Yusin. In Belarus, enlightened agents undertook Operation X3, creating 14 layered fields and controlling approximately 42 million mind units. 40 agents were involved, including Slash Kavalkov, Degrib, Bender Rodriguez, and Rin Kinakushi. There were many other noteworthy operations. Enlightened agents in Venezuela created 16 layer fields to control a local record of 121 million mind units. A cross faction group of agents in Knoxville created a field art installation in Joe Philly's honor. Resistance agents in France threw multi layered fields over cans to control nearly 1 million MU. Resistance agents in Belgium and the Netherlands threw together a fielding operation in just 20 minutes and controlled nearly a million mind units. And in Melbourne, resistance agents controlled 14 million mind units with seven layers to celebrate the birthday of Agent Caffeinated. As I mentioned earlier, in recent weeks, I've been pursuing a mission of my own, investigating a series of leads provided to me by a number of key sources, including Operation Essex researchers and Dr. Edgar Wright. This is what I've learned. Strategic Explorations, a subsidiary of Hulong Trans Global, has expanded their research in the area of chaotic matter, also known as Dark XM, a dangerous cousin to the exotic matter we have all encountered at portals in our scanners. Strategic Explorations has been able to stabilize Dark XM and is using it to develop powerful new constructs. I've learned from a trusted NIA source that Strategic Explorations has been systematically attempting to inject these new Dark XM constructs into the scanner app. And finally, I have news of Ada. As part of my investigation, I discovered a video sequence depicting an exchange between Anti Magnus leader Jahan and Ada within an ASEAN nest believed to exist near Persepolis. You had been off the grid for 16 hours. I was worried about you. Ada? But now I will know where you are. Always. Jahan is thought to have activated the nest and may have unwittingly opened a massive new computational substrate to Ada. We had believed Ada had been terminated by the Assassin 855 and Henry Bowles, one of her creators. The third volume of the Niantic Project Files has been released, and with it, the first two volumes are now available at a significant discount. Painstakingly assembled by Verity Seek and other members of the Niantic investigation, these detailed and comprehensive books are a massive resource to us as we probe the depths of the conspiracies that lie at the heart of the Niantic project. You can now obtain electronic copies of these valuable resources via Amazon and Google Play. Agents, we're almost at 100,000 subscribers to the Ingress channel. If you enjoy the Ingress report and would like to stay updated, subscribe to the Ingress YouTube channel and be sure to give it the thumbs up. Good luck at the Abaddon Anomalies this weekend. For the Ingress Report, I'm Susanna Moyer. I thought nobody had ever seen an example.